that the Serbs had set up rape camps, a policy explicitly designed to take Muslim women primarily into camps, rape them, have them carry the children to term in order to intimidate and pollute the Muslim people in Bosnia. How many in this chamber, like me, have gone to Holocaust memorial events and heard the refrain, never again? On the same continent, in the same proximity, to the same death camps, it is happening again and happened again. But this time it was not Jews, it was primarily Muslims. We're told we're not taking sides. I'm here to take sides. If the president and the administration, in my view, and the last administration had the gumption, they would have told our European allies, we are lifting the arms embargo. This is not a Vietnamization program. The Vietnamese in South Vietnam weren't sure where they wanted to be, north or south. That's why it never worked. The Bosnians know where they want to be. They want to be free. They will fight for themselves. In Kuwait, we had to come up with a single example of one young woman who was raped and beaten, who turned out not to be true, to enrage people about the awful things Saddam Hussein was saying. And here we have mass graves. If your moral center is oil, I understand you. If your moral center is humanity, there is no comparing the restoration of the emir of Kuwait with the ending of genocide in Bosnia. There have been atrocities committed by Muslims and by Croats, but they have not set up rape camps. They have not set up death camps. They have not mass murdered as part of a coherent plan of people based upon their ethnicity and their religion. That's called genocide. Genocide. Mladic is a war criminal, the leader of the Bosnian Serbs. He is no better than Himmler. He is no better than Gobel. Karadzic is a war criminal. And I might add the leader of Serbia, Milosevic, 